we polled the contents of her makeup bag and the average age came out at 25 years old. Linda! 25 years old! Is it, is it, you know, are you surprised that her face looked 10 years older than it should? <laughs> I mean, I think Linda's main problem is the fact that she doesn't actually wear a lot of makeup. Because if she wore makeup, she wouldn't have a makeup bag in that state, right? That's very true. Ruby has a vision of Linda as a timeless beauty. To achieve this, she's using a liquid foundation with a matte finish to create a flawless base. But before going any further, something's got to be done about those bushy brows. OK, now that those brows are groomed, let's start with some shadow work. I'm just using a pale colour, just on your brow bones. Mm -hmm. And that just gives a nice, smooth finish to the eyebrows. Then I'm going to pick something that's like a minky tone. And quite a big brush. Well, because you apply and you blend yes, at the same time. Yes. And once you've blended it down, you can see it doesn't come out as dark as yeah. you think it might. If your idea of timeless beauty is more Helen Mirren than Dolly Parton, then blending two complementary tones of eyeshadow will give a more subtle effect than using contrasting colours. Okay, I'm just using a slightly browner colour just underneath your lashes, mm -hmm. about a third of the way into your eye. And the reason I do that is sometimes people want a lot of definition just from the mascara, mm -hmm. but you can't always get that mm. from the mascara. So if you give a little line, a little help, mm -hmm. it, it allows that mascara to look defined. Mm. I think even if I miss out on anything, I haven't got time to do anything else, I curl my lashes and I put mascara on. It makes your eyes come out. So are you saying if you do nothing else, never leave the house without mascara? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. 